So, horror movie tier list chat. Horror movie tier list. Um, <laughs> um, so, like I said, most of these movies I have seen. Um, a couple maybe I haven't seen here or there. But um, let's get started on this shit. All right, what do we have first? A Thousand Corpses. This that movie actually is really sick. Now, I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start off with all the ones that I know are S tier, and I'm going to go from there. American Psycho, we know for sure that's S tier. I've watched it over and over and over. Yeah, Evil Dead. Also, by the way, um, we're doing like basically kind of like franchises yeah. here, so like this involves like Evil Dead One, Two, and Army of Darkness, which are all like super badass. So you can't go wrong with any. You know, it's not like there's a dud in there. You know, so I'm going to be skipping around a lot. Event Horizon is fucking godlike. It's so fucking good. It's the scariest uh, sci-fi horror I've ever watched. Scariest sci-fi horror, free. Highly recommended if you have not seen it. Highly recommend. The Thing, also S tier. Very fucking good. I have watched multiple times over and over and over again. Pet Cemetery. Let me make a disclaimer though. This is only the original Pet Cemetery. Uh, Pet Cemetery 2, while uh, Edward Furlong made it, might have been in that movie. Uh, whatever, man. I don't even know if I've seen it. Maybe I should watch it, but it looks dumb. I don't care about it. <laughs> uh, I did watch the newest Pet Cemetery that came out in like 2019. They like kind of remade the original, made a couple tweaks to like the storyline and shit. It, it was okay, it was all right. But I'm just like, I just wanna watch the original. All right, so where was I at? I literally have watched this movie like multiple times and I would watch it again like right now. It's so fucking good. So I'm gonna put that up there. Okay, A tier. Now this is like still, this is still a movie I may watch multiple times, like over and over and over. I just mind, you know, uh, maybe not like all the time, you know, but like I'll still totally watch these over and over. So for sure, Gremlins. What a great fucking movie. I love Gremlins. Who doesn't like that movie? That movie's a classic. Uh, Amityville Horror. I've actually watched this movie multiple times. I like the old version and I like the new version and new meaning like 2004, whenever the fuck it came out. <laughs> uh, Alien, definitely A tier. Um, the Shining, 100% A tier. Watched it multiple times would watch again. Now, this might upset some people, but it's just my personal opinion. Children of the Corn, I might actually put that lower. It, I don't know, it didn't scare me. It didn't scare me at all. Uh, I'm gonna get, I'm actually gonna put it in C. I'm skipping B all together. <laughs> We're gonna actually put that right there. Child's Play, same thing. It's scary, I get it. Creepy doll, nobody likes creepy dolls, but that's also gonna go in. Um, B tier, arachnophobia, top tier. John Goodman? Is gonna save me in this game sign me up or save me the game save me in this movie john goodman's in this movie so if you haven't seen it it's it's fucking hilarious i love him in this it's super tight yeah fuck them spiders dude conjuring i'm actually gonna put that's a solid b solid b it's scary as fuck i've rewatched it multiple times absolutely love it the ring b tier 100 b tier it might be pg-13 but it's scary as fuck like the first like five minutes are super scary, then it kind of dies down a little bit, but then it's one of those movies that just kind of crescendos at the end, and it's just like this, it's fucking crazy, dude. Um, wow, I hella skipped over Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm really trying to decide if that's S tier or A tier. I'm gonna put it in A tier for right now. That's up there though. Deepers Creepers I've actually never seen, and it looks like shit. Um, I'm gonna put it in D tier. <laughs> if, when I watch Deepers Creepers, I know for a fact it's gonna be a one and done. D tier. I think D tier is a, that's a horror movie. I've either, I've never watched it because I knew it was shitty or I watched it and it was shitty and I probably won't watch it again. So like Sleepwalkers, that was a fun Stephen King movie. I don't necessarily regret the, regret the time I spent watching that movie, but I'm not going to watch it again. It was fucking weird. <laughs> you know, that's definitely D tier, for example. It was fun though. I'm glad I watched it. Night of the Living Dead. Oh, that's a good one. Now, I've only seen it a few times, but it's good. It is a good movie but i feel like so many great scary movies have come out since then to just like top it um it's like not even fair you know you know it's like comparing babe ruth to like the fucking baseball players today that are all jacked up on steroids you know it's like how do you compete with that shit dead alive top tier um we'll watch multiple times that's gonna be uh dawn of the dead i will admit um, it's not necessarily the greatest horror movie, but it is very fun. It's absolutely, that's like a solid, solid B. I almost want to put it in A tier, um, but I don't think it necessarily belongs there. I'm going to put that in B, but I love that movie and I think it's fucking great. Uh, Human Centipede, I saw it just to say I saw it. Going to put it in D, we'll never watch it again. It was fucking gross. I don't ever have to watch a movie again where someone's fucking mouth 
is stitched to someone else's butthole, uh, and, and so forth and so forth. You know what happens. <laughs> it's gross. I only watched that movie because I saw the South Park uh, episode called The Centipad. Blair Witch, very fucking cool. But I'm still gonna put it in D. And maybe that's fucked up of me. Maybe that's me. I don't know. But I've only seen, I've seen it like a few times and it, it's a good movie. I love that it was a little budget. They fucking ran with that shit and everybody loved it. But for me, how do you rewatch that again? You know, it's kind of like a one and done. You know what? I'm going to put it in C tier because I will rewatch it. I'm really trying to keep D tier to ones like I'm never going to watch again. So let's put it at least in C tier because I will rewatch it occasionally. Okay, Return of the Living Dead, it's a solid B. I really want to put it in A. I'm just so stacked up here, man. It's hard. Um, yeah, I'm going to put Return of the Living Dead here. Um, thinner. <laughs> this is a fun ass fucking movie, but I'm never going to watch it again. It was hilarious. It's, a Steve, it's based off a of Stephen King book. Tremors. Damn, that's a good movie. That's at least going to be B tier. <laughs> Poltergeist. I'm sorry. I'm not a Poltergeist fan. Call me a bitch, but I'm going to put that in D tier. I'm sorry. I'm probably going to get in trouble for this one too, but I'm putting Saw in D tier. I'm just not a big Saw person. I'm not a big Saw fan. It's kind of just like the first Saw was cool. The first Saw was cool, but then it's just like every single one after that. It's like, you know, like I fucking buried a key in your fucking butthole and you've got 30 seconds to fucking shit it out, you know, before your head explodes. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Like, what the fuck? Come on. Uh, Heels have eyes. This is actually going to go in B tier, at least minimum. Might go in A tier. Um, I like the old version of Hills Has Eyes and the new version. I like both of them. So, okay, I know what you did last summer. Um, or like, who cares what you did last summer? I'm never going to watch that movie again. It was fun when I watched it as a kid, but boo. Scream now? Now Scream? I actually like Scream. And I'm going to put it in B. While the entire Scream franchise gets a little crazy, um, I love Scream 1 so fucking much that I am putting it in B. Um, Final Destination, I'm trying to figure out where I want to put this. Now, it is awesome. It's, like, not one I'm going to come back to too often. So, again, I'm trying to, like... I like pretty much all these movies. Some of them I haven't seen or some I actually don't like. But, like, I'm trying to figure out, you know, I'm just trying to put them where I'm going to watch them the most, you know? Um, Near Dark, that was a lot of fun to watch. A lot of fun to watch, but I'll probably never watch it again. Paranormal Activity. Um, I'm going to put that in C because I had a really great time watching the first, like, I think it was, like, maybe the first two at least. I definitely like the first two for sure. Um, House of a Thousand Corpses. That's actually a really good movie I have not seen in a while, and I should go watch it again. It's definitely, a, it's really fucking good. 28 Days Later is another, like, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. I don't know if I want to put it in A or B. I might come back to it. Misery, really fucking good. E tier, um, still great though. Friday the 13th, um, that's probably gonna be a C tier as well. It's a great movie, excellent movie, but it's not necessarily one I'm gonna really watch a lot. Okay, From Hell, damn, I actually really like this movie a lot. I think that's gonna be B. I know it's, it's cheesy, it's cornball, it's not the best like acting and shit. It's uh, um, that one chick from, Austin Powers and the Bilbo, Bilbo Baggins dude from Fellowship of the Ring is the Ripper and Johnny Depp. Insidious? I've never seen that. Um, so I'm going to be an asshole and put it in D. <laughs> That's one I should see though. I've never seen Sharknado because it looks stupid as fuck. But I should probably see it just at least once uh, to see what all the uh, hubbub is about. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Old one and new one I actually think are fucking fantastic. Bare minimum B. 28 days later. It was so scary. I don't know if I want to watch it again. All right, let's put an S here. It is really, it's a really good movie. It's really fucking good. Fuck. Oh man, it's so scary though. It's so scary. Okay, Ouija, I've never seen. Quiet Place, I've never seen. Fuck you. People on the Stairs, S tier. Um, House on Haunted Hill, A tier. Exorcist, A tier. It. Original It. Original It is A tier. Original It is A tier. I don't give a fuck about anything else that came out. Silence on the Lambs, definitely S tier. Damn, did we do it? We fucking did it. We did it, chat. Look at that. Okay, let me let me make sure I don't want to make any revisions. Now, I love arachnophobia, but I think I'm actually going to put that to... How's chat feeling about this list right now? 
This is a controversial list. How is it controversial? You're not a fan of Event Horizon? Well, you're the one with the controversial list. <laughs> Hellraiser would probably be, for me personally, it'd probably be more B tier. I never got super into Hellraiser, but it's a great movie. There's this old movie called The Stuff that's about like yogurt that like kills people. I think I'd put that in D, even though it was great. Oh my God, the fly is godlike. I would put that, that would at least be B tier, minimum, probably A tier actually. Oh shit, Kujo, that's another Stephen King. Train to Busan, that's really good. I would put that at least B tier, minimum. Damn, you guys are like, I feel like I'm not a, a horror movie buff now. I, there's so many movies I haven't heard of. Uh, Sleepy Hollow. I actually really like that movie, even though it's so cheesy. I've watched that multiple times. That would honestly, for me personally, that's like an A tier. I just, I just, I mean, I also have a huge crush on Johnny Depp, so. I mean, I have like all of Johnny Depp's movies up here. Oh, Hereditary was really good. Hereditary, um, I don't, like I said, I don't know if I'd watch it again. Um, but it was very good. Um, it would, it would be a C. A C for sure. I'd probably watch it again. I think this is pretty good. Good list. Okay, everyone, get mad at, at my horror movie tier list. <laughs> did it. You did it. Thank you so much for hanging out. If it's not on the list, it's trash. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. You guys are fucking awesome. Seriously, thank you so much.